Welcome to the Art for Healing Project. I'm Katherine Thomas and I'm your host. We're here at Ponto Lambert Studio in Sarasota and we've got a fantastic show for you today. So you stay right there and I'll meet you right back here. doing a great painting today. This painting is so popular. You know, we live in Florida. Last week we painted a beach scene. We have to do one more Florida painting and it's going to be a beautiful sunset. It looks white now, but it's going to be very colorful when we're done. Now I'm going to start out like last time doing the sky. We did phalo blue and titanium white and I'm going to start with those again. Um, this is my fancy palette. I don't mix my colors on the palette, so I just use a paper plate and I encourage you to use one too if that works for you. So I'm going to start with a little bit of blue on the brush. I'm just using a basic round brush. Again, this is not a fancy brush. This is a very inexpensive brush I bought at Walmart. I'm going to dip it in the blue and I'm going to dip a nice big glob of white and I'm going to start putting my sky in. I'm going to keep dipping in the white because I like lots of white. A little bit of blue goes a long way. All right, so I'm using a lot of white here and I want to start introducing, I've got deep violet. This is a nice purple. I'm going to start introducing that in. Now it's a little bit on the dark side, but that's all right because what we're going to do is we're just going to keep smooshing the colors in. I'm also going to bring a little bit of yellow in, more white. doesn't really matter how the sky goes. I've done this painting probably 20 times and every single time it comes out differently. I'm going to have a sunset going on right here. So I want to start getting a lot of yellows. And I'm even going to put a little bit of red in there, make it kind of orangey. I've got a lot of blue on my brush, and I think I'm going to clean my brush out a little bit and get rid of some of that blue. Now, I really don't care half the time if the colors all mix, but it's turning into a, an ugly brown-green thing, and when that happens, it's time to clean the brush. There, there we go. That's looking a little more like a sunset. I'm going to mix a little red in there. Now, look at how bright that is. It's like, okay, that's a little bit much. That's when you add more white. Now Sunset has all kinds of colors going on here. I'm not going to be too fussy because remember we paint in layers. So however it comes out, the first layer, I am going to come back in later and add some more color to it and fix it up. So if when you first start out you get a little bit of muddy brown going on in the middle or something, don't even worry about it because we're going to cover that up. That is the beautiful thing about acrylic painting. There's no commitments. Anything you don't like, we can fix. There's not a thing that you can't change that is very freeing and liberating. That's part of why it's so relaxing, to be honest with you. Okay, I need to get some more white in here. I want to have some clouds. Now it's wet. Remember last week when we did the cloud, if the sky is wet, it's going to turn kind of blue, but that's okay because remember we're going to come back in later and add more after it dries. Sometimes you get too much blue on your brush because it's wet that's when it's time to clean it up. Again, no big deal. It would, it would not be fun if you can't just relax. So the whole point is just to relax and not worry about it. Okay, I'm going to step back and take a look at that. Wow, that's kind of interesting. It's a big glob of a lot of stuff, but that's okay because when I come back after it dries, that's when the magic happens. I'm just going to put a little bit of, I feel like maybe a little more purple get some stuff going on here. I could honestly spend two hours just playing around with the sky. This is this whole painting is mostly the sky and that's the fun part. For me painting, the fun of painting is smushing the colors around. And when it comes to a sky you can smush all day long. So we're gonna take a quick break and when we come back we're gonna put in the water. If you like painting with me on TV, you're gonna love painting with me in person. So come on down to Ponto Lambert Studio and let's have some fun. 
You don't need any experience or your own supplies at my pizza and painting workshops. Discover for yourself how fun and easy it is to paint along with me. My workshops are small and intimate, so you can really relax and unwind. We'll be enjoying some delicious Rico's pizza and a great big salad too. So grab a friend and maybe even a little wine if you like, and let's get creative. Go to artforhealingproject.com and register today. Hello, I'm Kelly Stewart. My husband John and I co-created Sacred Pathway Sarasota as a place to explore paths to healing and wholeness. We use spiritual bodywork practices and therapies focused through the body to clear the mind and integrate the spirit. My focus is energy work and massage therapy. John's is kundalini yoga and meditation. Start your journey with us today at sacredpathwayssarasota.com. Your family is really special. Taking care of them with the love and dignity and medical attention that they deserve can be overwhelming. You are not alone. Discover Bayshore Guest Home and Gardens Assisted Living Facility with a limited nursing services license. Not an institution, but a real home. Small, intimate, loving. Rated in the top 1% in U.S. and Canada by senior advisor and a place for mom for four years in a row. Make Bayshore Guest Home and Gardens your home today. At Gentle Bay Sarasota Chiropractic, your back pain, sciatica, or neck pain will be treated with effective yet gentle soft tissue therapies. Dr. Eric Winder has over 18 years of experience treating even difficult chronic pain by releasing connective tissue restrictions that trigger pain and stiffness. To find out more about Gentle Bay Sarasota Chiropractic and Dr. Winder's method of relieving difficult pain, visit gentlebay.com. Welcome back. I'm so excited. I have a really special guest for us today. I have Heidi Korsch from Life Balance. Heidi, it is so good to have you on the show today. Well, thank you so much, Catherine. I am super excited to be invited by you as a guest on your beautiful art show. Oh, well, thank you. One of my goals for this show is to introduce you to new and interesting ways to improve the quality of your life. Now, for me, that means painting. But Heidi does something a little different. And Heidi, I know you have made a tremendous impact on people's lives who are suffering from chronic pain and stress. Why don't you start by telling us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Um, yes, so I am the founder of Life Balance with Heidi, and um, I have developed my own energy technique. I am an energy integrator. And um, it's my passion to help people with their physical and emotional pain. So my clients experience profound changes with back pain, shoulder pain, life changes, whatever it is they are looking for. Um, so changes are felt very quickly, especially if they are physical. And I offer a free mini session for anybody to try this out. Um, how I got to do this is um, I myself had major health issues. Uh, I want to give an example of my back. Uh, I was on the floor and 911 was called to take me to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And after two weeks, um, I didn't want to do the surgery. I had tried everything and couldn't get much help. And that's how I found out about energy. And uh, today um, I play tennis, I do everything, and I want to get the word out there to the people um, that they have awareness that there's another thing they can do to get helped. Wow, that is so amazing. Thank you. I, am so, I didn't know that story about your back or how you got started. Thank you for sharing yeah. that. Thank you. So maybe, how does it work? Can you explain a little more about how your technique works? Um, yeah, so everybody's individual and um, we all create blockages throughout our lives in our subconscious. So uh, emotion plays a big role. We create grief, frustration, worries, and with these emotion through those blockages, we can create illness and disease. So by removing them, we get the energy flow back and it will help with the health and life improvement. Wow, that is so fascinating. Thanks. Why don't you, if, if our viewers, if any of you would like to meet Heidi, 
Why don't you explain to us a little bit about what they can expect if they come to you and have a session? Um, so every session for everybody is individual. Um, I work on what the client asks me. Um, it's majorly talking to the client. Um, it's almost like a therapy talk. They explain to me what it is they want the help. I ask questions, uh, give information. How long have they been dealing with it? How high is the pain level? Um, and I help them a little bit with things that I find for everybody individual. Um, and then the meditator wants to meditate. Um, a person might just be relaxed. And I scan the body and remove the blockages. So I do that with my insight, my feeling, and my perception. And um, yeah, so my client find the session um, relaxing, informative, and they are welcoming the changes. Wow, that is so amazing. We're going to get back to painting, and then we're going to come back in a few minutes and talk to you a little bit more. Thank you so much. Okay, we're back. Just so you know, the colors that we used in the sky, we used phalo blue, titanium white. I used a little deep violet, that was the purple. The yellow was cadmium yellow, deep hue, deep hue, and the red was cadmium red, medium. So now let's put in the, we're gonna put in some water. And I'm gonna use straight blue. I cleaned my brush, and I'm not mixing any yellow. I want this to be dark. This is gonna be where my water starts and I'm just gonna paint this whole thing solid blue. The reason I'm painting the whole thing solid blue and I'm not worrying about it is, again, this is just an undercoat. Once this dries, the blue dries, we're gonna come in and we're gonna put the yellows and the reds and all the reflections on the water. Now, you might think that the reflection looks just like the sky, but it really doesn't. It's much darker because it's reflecting off of a deep water. And that's why we need to have this blue undercoat in here. Okay, that was, it doesn't matter exactly, there's our water. We're gonna let that dry, and when we come back, we're gonna have some more fun. If you like painting with me on TV, you're gonna love painting with me in person, so come on down to Ponto Lambert Studio, and let's have some fun. You don't need any experience or your own supplies at my pizza and painting workshops. Discover for yourself how fun and easy it is to paint along with me. My workshops are small and intimate, so you can really relax and unwind. We'll be enjoying some delicious Rico's pizza and a great big salad too. So grab a friend and maybe even a little wine if you like, and let's get creative. Go to artforhealingproject.com and register today. Hi, my name is Heidi Korsch, and I help people with their physical and emotional pain. My clients experience profound changes and elimination in chronic pain, back pain, shoulder, neck pain, whatever it is you can think of. So if you are that person that has tried many things and is still in agony or not completely satisfied, I invite you to try my energy technique. Uh, results are felt quickly. I offer a free mini session. You got nothing to lose. Please call. Uh, make your appointment and remember you got one body to live in so keep it healthy keep it strong and keep it balanced Welcome back. If you just joined us, I'm here today with Heidi Korsch. She's from Life Balance. She's a special guest with us today Heidi, you know, I have to tell you, I was so blown away by what your clients had to say about you. Would you mind if I shared some of their words with our viewers? Absolutely not. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Perfect. You know, I run around doing 400 million things at once and she has helped me so much with my anxiety, with calming myself and being able to sleep better at night. Um, and it's hard to put a word to it, but just overall feeling a little brighter, a little more grounded. Um, it's it's uh, like a preventive thing. She, she 
grooms you up and cleans you up inside all around and um, she keeps you going. I felt relief within minutes and I don't know how she does it, but uh, it was hands off and um, it was a miracle. Sometimes there's just new things we have to try out even if we're not sure. Um, if you give it a shot, you'll, you have nothing to lose, um, everything to gain. If it's not for you, it's not for you, but I guarantee you're gonna come out of it better than when you started with her. Welcome back. Okay, so now we're dry and we've got our sky. We've got some cool colors going on here. We've got the blue water. This is where I like to have a little bit of more fun with the sky. I like what's going on here and every painting is different so sometimes depending on how it came out is how my, you know, what I decide to roll with. But what I'm looking at here is I'm seeing a lot of yellow going on here so I'm going to work in there a little bit. I want to add more clouds. And I want you to notice that as my, as my brush, when I first put it on this, the canvas, it's really heavy with paint and it's really thick. But as the paint starts to wear off, it gets kind of dry. And when it gets dry, it makes this beautiful, wispy kind of fuzzy stuff. See how it's making this? It's because the, there's not that much paint left on it, and so it's almost like a little bit translucent. I love that for clouds. That's one of my favorite things. Now, I am really, I have no serious plan going on here. I am just smooshing the paint and see what comes out. That is like my favorite thing. I put a little more blue in here. I'm sorry, a little more purple in here. Add a little bit of white. I do want to have a good amount of yellow going on because somewhere is going to be the sun. Now I was planning to put the sun over here, but I actually might put it over here only because I already have so much yellow going on here. That's the fun of the, pet, of the painting is watching it unfold and not trying to control it. Let it just happen. That's why painting is so relaxing is to not be fretting about it. I'm going to make it a little brighter down in here. This is where my sunset is going to be. I'm going to actually put a sun on the horizon see how that looks. I think I might put a little bit more cloud up here. Hey, this is a sunset. We got to make it dramatic. And again, I don't care what colors. I happen to have yellow on my brush, so now we got yellow cloud going on. If I had red on my brush, we'd have red cloud going on. It doesn't, you don't need to plan this out. That is the fun of it. And if you get nothing else, get that message. Just let it unfold and have fun with it. Okay, now I need to put some reflection on the water. We've got this dark water, and I want that down there, so when I put the reflection on, I, you're gonna notice when I put yellow onto this blue water, guess what it's gonna make? Green, because even though it's dry, it doesn't completely cover, because that's how acrylics are. They don't completely cover. And you'll see, see how the difference, it's a very dark, it's kind of a green color as opposed to the bright yellow, and that's what we want, because that is what a reflection actually would really look like. So I'm gonna smear some yellow on here, kind of as a starting base. I'm gonna cover most of this water, so you're not even gonna really see the blue. It's just gonna peek out a little bit here, a little bit there. Now I'm not gonna really make a big deal about mirroring the sky, but you'll see I have a lot of red right here, so. I'm going to kind of loosely put some red down here. Now look at how bright that is. That might be a little bit too bright, so I'm going to tone it down with a little white. And again, we're just making an impression. This is not, my style of painting is not highly detailed. As you can probably tell, I like to use color, and I use a lot of color. And I find I make the, the painting interesting with color. So let's get a little bit more water going on here. Now I don't have to cover every single inch of it. Some of the blue can show through. But I definitely want a lot right where I'm gonna put my sun. Now I'm gonna stand back. I think I'm actually gonna put my sun right here because just by accident, this seems to be the area where the sun would be. So I'm not gonna fight him. If you can't beat him, join him. That means I'm going to put quite a bit of yellow down here because this is where the sun is going to be setting. 
I've got a little bit of purple up there, so I'm going to try putting a little bit of a little purple, a little bit of white. Put a little bit of purple. Only because I have purple in the sky. That's actually pretty bright. I'm going to tone that down with more purple. Put more red in there. Okay, now we're making some headway. Okay, welcome back. Now we got a lot of colors. It's kind of interesting. It's looking kind of good, looking kind of weird in some places. But again, when you paint with acrylic, you work in layers. So it, it takes time and by the end, it looks beautiful. So don't let any of your earlier layers discourage you. I'm gonna add a sun and I think I'm gonna put the sun right here. So I'm gonna do that by using the cadmium yellow, titan titanium white. I'm also using a smaller angle brush. I'm gonna put the sun right here. And almost can't see it because it's so bright, so I'm gonna add some more white. I happen to make that spot so bright that you actually can't see the sun, so I'm gonna go in later and put a second coat on there and make it a little brighter. I'm also gonna put right now a little bit of reflection where this is gonna, this is gonna, So now, even though this is wet, I'm gonna take a little break from that, I'm gonna put a little bit of land in there. Now you can see this is where my water starts, and it's kind of rough looking, and the reason I didn't bother making it straight is I'm gonna put a piece of dark, silhouetted land right there. And for that, I'm gonna use Mars Black. I'm still using that angle brush. I'm gonna have it go maybe like this. For those of you who say you can't draw a straight line, this is perfect, but we don't really want it perfectly straight. That would be too boring. I'm just putting in some land. Right here. And I actually kind of want a little bit of a hill. Again, this is Florida, not too much of a hill. got the sun peeking down there. Now the sun's not showing that much right now, but we'll fix that after. Okay, now I'm gonna put another little piece of land in here, and it's gonna be down here. Now in this land, we've got some little swamp grass growing. So the grass is up like this. Now, one thing I see people do sometimes is they think grass and it's all up and down, so this is what their grass looks like. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> it kind of grows in big globs, and it's easy to do that, but it's also easy to fix that if you did it, so don't worry. We've got some tall ones, we've got some shorter ones, we've got some bare spaces, we've got some thick spaces. So now we've got some grass, but now we've got to have the reflection. So now you don't have to fuss and make it exactly the same, but if you have a big one kind of going this way, you need to do a mirror reflection of it. You don't have to worry about every little one. Your mind is going to fill it in. But if you have a big tall one, you know, try to put a big tall one in the reflection. And the mind will just see it as being the same, even if it's not exactly the same. So you don't really have to worry about it. Big one there, so I'm going to make sure I have a little bit of a big one there. There. Now we're going to take a quick break. A Gentle Bay Sarasota Chiropractic. Your back pain, sciatica, or neck pain will be treated with effective yet gentle soft tissue therapies. Dr. Eric Winder has over 18 years of experience treating even difficult chronic pain by releasing connective tissue restrictions that trigger pain and stiffness. 
To find out more about Gentle Bay Sarasota Chiropractic and Dr. Winder's method of relieving difficult pain, visit GentleBay.com. Hello, I'm Kelly Stewart. My husband John and I co-created Sacred Pathway Sarasota as a place to explore paths to healing and wholeness. We use spiritual bodywork practices and therapies focused through the body to clear the mind and integrate the spirit. My focus is energy work and massage therapy. John's is kundalini yoga and meditation. Start your journey with us today at sacredpathwayssarasota.com. Rico's Pizzeria in Gulfgate, the place to go when you crave the only real pizza south of Jersey, serving some of the best pizza, wings, subs, and Italian specialties in Sarasota. Voted best pizza and best wings by Sarasota Magazine and reader's choice for the best pizza in the Herald Tribune. Open seven days a week for dine-in, pickup, or delivery. Order online today at ricospizzagolfgate.com or call 941-922-9604. And don't forget the cheesecake. Okay, we're almost done with this painting. There's a couple little things that I don't like about it. And when you have more time at home, you can really spend some time finessing. And I wish I had an hour long show because I could paint for hours and hours. Okay, one of the things I didn't like when I made the sky orange and I put the orange reflection in, it was just too much orange there. So I am just putting a little tiny bit of blue back in just to tone it down a little bit. So now it doesn't look like there's a big blob of orange sitting on there. Now I'll probably play with it some more because I never do a painting in just a half hour. But for today, that's our painting and I hope you enjoyed it. This is the part of the show where I get to thank you, the viewers, for making this show a success. Art is meant to be shared, and I want to share my art with you. So two viewers this week are going to get a special package in the mail, and it'll either be a painting or a gift certificate from me. This week's winners are Tammy Walker and Joan Hughes. Congratulations! Go to artforhealingproject.com and join the Viewer Appreciation Club to automatically be entered to win in the weekly show giveaway. Also, if you'd like to get a weekly text reminder from me an hour before the show with a photo of this week's painting project, text the word PAINT to 797979. That's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you, Heidi, for joining us today. If you liked our project and you'd like to paint it but you don't have the supplies or you don't want to try it at home by yourself, Come on down to my workshop. I'll be doing this project all this week. Go to artforhealingproject.com to register for a workshop. And until I see you next time, have a great day.